We're writing a function in standard form. So what it's asking us to do is rewrite the function um, f of x equals negative 4 times x minus 4 quantity squared plus 26. So it's asking us to expand this math so we can have it in standard form. So we're going to take our function. And we're going to expand this. So we have x minus 4 times x minus 4. Um, so first we'll um, distribute this negative 4. So negative 4x plus 16 is first parentheses. And then, uh, again, remember you take the first term times each of the terms in the second parentheses. So negative 4x times x is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x times negative 4, positive 16x. And then we do the second term times each piece. So neg 16 times x. And then we're going to do 16 times negative 4, so minus 64, and add 26. All right, so negative 4x squared, 16x and 16x get combined to 32x. And then we need to combine negative 64 and 26. And you can use um, a calculator or, or combining skills. And we're going to get negative 38 when we combine negative 64 and 26. And that is the answer. So to another example, we want to take 3x times x minus 2 quantity squared minus 6. So again, we're going to expand x minus 2 squared into x minus 2 times x minus 2, and then minus 6. So we'll go ahead and distribute the 3 on the first parentheses. So we'll have 3x minus 6, and that has to stay in parentheses because we haven't yet multiplied it onto x minus 2. Uh, now we're going to take the first term, 3x times x, 3x squared, and then we'll take it times the second. So 3x minus 2 is... 6x, and then we have minus 6x, and plus 12, minus 6. And we're going to combine like terms, 3x squared, minus 12x, and 12 and negative 6 will give us plus 6. And that is what we will submit. So again, rewriting a function in standard form is just asking you to expand any square that you have and combine like terms so that you can put it in um, standard form so that you can easily see the y-intercept at the end. That's the purpose of putting something in standard form.